January 19th, 1978, I was a student at the University of Missouri, 19 years old, and working on the radio station there, uh, doing a, a rock and roll shift, and my father called and said uh, my sister, Helene, who at that time was 25, had been seriously hurt, and he said in an auto accident, so uh, that kind of surprised me uh, and I was completely blown away. I was, you know, took a flight home the next morning. Uh, my brother uh, was a uh, resident in medical school or having graduated uh, medical school and he was in Boston and the uh, same thing for him except there was a, uh, a bad snowstorm and he couldn't get out of Boston for two days. So uh, it was just uh, I'm the youngest of three, my older brother Jim and my middle sister, my older sister Helene. And uh, it wasn't until I got home that I was told that Helene's husband had shot her and had uh, in their home and had claimed that he was cleaning the gun, which I know was BS, you know. And so obviously it was very, very traumatic. Um, my parents uh, were wonderful people. Um, you know, my father was uh, an, an obstetrician in the Chicago suburbs, um, but there were things about this story I had no idea. I was kind of a self-absorbed 19-year-old, and uh, I had no idea that my brother-in-law at that time uh, was having an affair, uh, and that he had been verbally very uh, abusive towards my sister. I never saw it. I think he would not have dared do it in front of my brother and I. But my father, who was a wonderful but uh, gentle, soft-spoken person, they never told me. So that came as a big surprise. And in addition, she was eight months pregnant. So <clears throat> it strikes uh, very, very hard. And to this day, it's, I don't mind talking about it, but it's very difficult to talk about it. I want people uh, to hear more and more stories about how lives are affected. Uh, when hate is greater than love, and that's why there uh, needs to be a conscious movement towards uh, education, I believe, and towards um, you know more knowledge and, 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 and warning signs that one spouse is being verbally abusive to another. I think that's very important. Again, I had no idea. My parents didn't want to interfere, but that turned out to, to have tragic results. And, you know, that's kind of how we've had to deal with it all these years.